Time stopped for them 300 years ago, and they reject technology and electricity. What is the story of the Amish? Without electricity or technology, without cars or planes, the news of the world does not reach them and they do not merge with it, they tend to peace, and they prefer isolation. It is the Amish sect isolated from the world with its full will, and they live on the margins of modern life by deciding to move away from all modern ways. Rural houses sit in the middle of the field inhabited by the Amish community, with horse-drawn carts, in a life organized by an unwritten code of conduct, based on religious values and the virtues of obedience and simplicity. The story of the isolated Amish sect began in the 17th century, for people who came from Switzerland, southern Germany, and eastern France, and now spread to many American provinces, and was founded by a man named Jacob Amon. They maintain a primitive lifestyle associated with a religious belief that their children inherited from generation to generation. They chose and preferred closure in order to preserve their beliefs that branch out to all aspects of life, from the rules of education, marriage, and work. For example, after the 8th grade, they stop sending their children to school, and then they are directed to become merchants and farmers. And housewives, for they have marriage imposed and divorce forbidden, and adolescents have one opportunity to open up to the outside world and then return again. And whoever decides to dispense with living within the sect, all ties with him are severed. All kinds of electronic and electrical devices and equipment are forbidden to be used, for a reason in their religious belief indicating that they are tools that distract from worship, replace hard work, reduce immersion in society and support the individuality of people. On the other hand, the Amish community that lives in Canada is assisted by the Canadian government by placing public telephone cabins near their homes and gatherings to seek help in emergencies. However, they refuse to use them and instead organize local teams specialized in dealing with emergencies, because they do not resort to the police or civil defense to face any danger that threatens their homes or their families. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.